Did you ever try to jump high into the air, then did a somersault mid-air and landed on some bricks? Bottom first? That hurts. Most people watching probably never did something like this. But Mario does this at a daily basis and it really starts to threaten his health. If Mario continues doing so, he might not be able to sit in a chair without feeling pain in a couple of years, not even to think about driving a clown car. Mario is an extremely important part of the kidnapping prevention plans of the National Mushroom Security Guards. He's basically the only plan. Because of this they decided to develop a list in cooperation with Bowser, a list full of important tips which should help Mario to live healthy and safe. The healthy list of helping. It's the responsibility of all of us to keep Mario healthy and safe. Because of this we're going to take a look at three different designs today that should allow Mario to finally overcome his almost addictive ground pounding behavior. So you ready? Let's do this. Our ground pounding prevention program starts in the middle of a castle. At first glance this castle appears to be a normal castle. Actually it is not, because if Mario decides to ground pound here, the floor disappears and he's forced to take a lethal lava bath. This should really teach Mario to finally take his health more seriously. So Mario needs to survive here without ground pounding. That's no easy task. At first glance this area appears to be pretty easy, but after a while more enemies drop from the ceiling. Once Mario defeated these enemies, a final wave of enemies lands, this time featuring Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. carries the exit key, which Mario totally desires, but in order to obtain it, our plumber needs to defeat the heir to the Koopa throne without ground pounding. Hooray! Okay, so how does all of this work? Well, it's surprisingly actually simple. First we use chain jump poles instead of a floor here, because those poles get destroyed if ground pounded and push Mario and the camera one block lower. At the bottom is our best friend hidden, Schrodinger's note block. This note block tests the height of the camera. If Mario ground pounds, the camera is one block lower and therefore the note block becomes triggered, triggers a P-switch and collapses the floor. That's the whole trick. The enemies at the top are imprisoned in a bound see spring cell. The cell is a horrible place to be in. But luckily for Goombas and Piranha plants, this cell opens up once a shell metamer expires and they are catapulted into the action. Next let's take a look at the super simple no ground pound hack. This design isn't very flashy, but it's super effective. Here the National Mushroom Security Guard's health coaches decided to replace the floor with power blocks and ouching spikes. If Mario ground pounds onto one of the power blocks, the power block goes pow and Mario finds himself on top of the evil spikes. So once again Mario has to make his way through the stage without relying onto his somersault skills. This area is a garden full of swinging chain chomps. The Mushroom Kingdom truly is a place of wonder. Sadly the swinging chain chomps try to eat Mario. So once a plumber, then no plumber, now a plumber again needs to jump through all those dangerous dogs while avoiding ground pounds. After a while he becomes entrapped in this small area together with a gigantic winged swinging chain chomp. Now Mario needs to survive here until a hidden timer expires and he's finally able to leave. Hooray! So let's take a look at our final no ground pound design. This design is different. Here we make use of the parallax scrolling of the background in order to create a really unique puzzle stage. Okay, so the idea is the following. There are 10 different question blocks at the bottom. 9 of these question blocks contain mushrooms. One contains a muncher. Mario's job is it to figure out which one contains the muncher. Because ground pounding a mushroom question block makes the ceiling collapse and drops munchers on top of him. Ouch. But how is Mario supposed to find out which question block is the safe one? Well the parallax scrolling background might help here. The background arcs have this little hole in their middle. This hole has exactly the same size as Mario. In this stage Mario has to align himself with this little hole because then the hole in the arc to his right points exactly to the question block that contains the muncher. Here it points to the sixth block and as it turns out the sixth block is the one that grants Mario the exit key. In the next room our plumber has to align the background once again in order to prove that he understood this concept before he faces the final background ground pound puzzle. By the way the contraption is set up in such a way that triggering the wrong block does nothing as long as the correct block is triggered first. In our last room Mario needs to align the background once again but this time he isn't able to see the whole background in all its glory because there is an evil semi-solid platform partly blocking his view. Now Mario needs to figure out where the center of the background arc is without seeing it. But luckily Mario manages to figure this out and is finally able to leave this stage. 
The Don't Ground Pound onto Mushroom Question Blocks contraption is super simple. We have a simple setup where a P switch becomes triggered if a mushroom drops down, but if a Muncher drops down, it frees the key that lived inside the Buzzy Beetle and blocks the P switch. I have no idea how to ever communicate such a concept to the person controlling Mario, but there is definitely a lot of potential here. But there is also one thing wrong with this design. How is this supposed to help Mario to live healthier again? Anyway, that's it for today and for Don't Ground Pound Contraptions. Thanks for watching this little video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and maybe feel especially like summer salting today and happen to land on top of the subscribe button as well. I hope that you have a wonderful day and to see you soon. Goodbye!